My name is Tim Brennan, and I'm a recent Dartmouth Track and Field graduate and the founder of Torch College Recruiting, a new recruiting platform that takes the concept of a dating app and applies it to college recruiting. This way, coaches can filter athletes by their personal bests, GPA, location, and other factors to identify their ideal recruits. Then, coaches can express interest in them, pretty similar to a right swipe, and directly chat with them on the app if the recruit accepts the request. This is only a beta version of the platform, but I'll walk you through the process to get started and show you the core functionality, which will make recruiting simple, the way it should be. First, I'll show you how to create an account. I'll be creating an account for Bill Bowerman by typing in the first and last name. An email address, a password, selecting the role as college coach, and gender as male. And this will take us to the edit profile page where you can add information about your college, track program, and you as a coach. I'll get started by pressing the edit button and entering in a college town, state, college, event group. Creating your coach profile shouldn't take more than about 10 minutes. And when you're done, it could look like this. At the top, we have the profile tile, where you can have all the basic information about you and the college that recruits want to know, like the school size, the setting, whether you're a public or private university, your athletic division and conference, etc. Going down, you can also add information about tuition and the availability of need-based financial aid. You can also add photos of campus and athletic facilities. We've also added the ability to add links to virtual tours, which is really important now since recruits won't be able to visit campus until 2021. So giving recruits a virtual feel for campus is really important. You can also add your recruiting standards so rec recruits know if they're in the ballpark of what you're looking for too. Next, we'll go to the athlete directory. Here you can find all the basic criteria you will likely have for recruiting an athlete, including their PRs, location, GPA, SAT, ACT, height, weight, class year, etc. Coach Bowerman's probably interested in distance runners, so I'll be looking for a fast miler. I'll be looking for milers that run between a 352 and a, five, and a 410. And that leaves us with Jim Run and Steve Prefontaine. You could also do additional filters by looking for athletes that have a certain GPA, SAT, ACT, height, weight, etc. And when you find an athlete you're interested in, all you have to do is click the add button to express interest. Next, I'll show you what it looks like from the athlete's point of view. This is Steve Prefontaine's profile. He has a notification that Bill Bowerman has requested to connect with him. As an athlete, he can either accept, deny, or block that request. If the athlete accepts, like he is right now, Bill Bowerman, that coach, will be added to his connections list, and he can start a chat. This will direct you to the messages page. Athletes can also search coaches by the same criteria that coaches are using. For example, if an athlete like Prefont Steve Prefontaine is looking for a distance coach, I guess there are none right there, but if he's looking for a throws coach, um, that's a D1 school that has in-state tuition for that amount, you can find coaches that find that criteria. Your view on athlete's profile isn't just limited to the small tile, which includes their name, their class year, their PRs, their GPA, SAT, ACT, etc. You can click on their name to see a full view of their entire profile, which includes all that basic information you saw earlier, while it also includes profile links to their mile split or athletic.net accounts, and the YouTube videos they're sharing of their athletic performances. You can see an academic summary, including when they're next taken the SAT or ACT date, which is really helpful for juniors or sophomores that may have not taken it yet. Um, you can also see the athletic measurables, and we give you uh, certain information to help make that first 
conversation with the athlete a little bit easier for you. So you might already know their extracurriculars, their interests and hobbies, a description of their ideal college, and their academic interests before that first call to make breaking the ice a little easier. We also have information about their references. So if you wanted to contact his college coach or his counselor, we have that information all in one place. One thing to note though is their references and their academic information will only be viewable to coaches. So other athletes that may be searching through profiles will not be able to see that information. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial of the beta version of Torch College Recruiting. We plan to go live soon, and if you're interested, please give me an email at tim at torchcollegerecruiting.com, which I'll also include in the description below. It's free for coaches, and I hope Torch will make recruiting simple for you, the way it should be.